Hi, I'm the Grow Boss. This is Garden Science, where I show you everything you need to know about growing. This, this video is going to be about using CO2, and these images just come straight out of my book, the Mini Grow Book, and you can find it online at thegrowboss.com or your local hydroponics store. So let's talk about CO2 and the reality of using CO2. If you like that video, you'll love my book, The Grow Book and Equipment Guide. It covers everything you need start to finish. All the nutrients, light, CO2, water, everything. And all the equipment, tent, fan, ducting, everything you need to know to grow. Buy a copy at your local hydroponic store or from my website, thegrowboss.com. CO2. Here's the equation. CO2 plus water with light for energy equals sugar and oxygen. I'm going to tell you a secret. Ready? Are you listening? Nowhere in this equation do nutrients exist. There is nowhere in the photosynthesis equation, there is nowhere in this photosynthesis equation that has anything to do with nutrients. You do not need nutrients the way manufacturers tell you. You do not need nutrients the way that they want you to use them. And for the most part, that's why your plant's awful, that's why you're struggling, and that's why you're having problems, is because almost everybody uses too much light, too much water, and too many nutrients. Those statistically are the top three problems that I get in my store. Dude. Every grower has the same questions. Every grower has the same problems. That's why I wrote the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. Everything you need to know to grow. Watch my videos. Buy my books. Always shop local. The light's too close. You got a plant that looks like this. You got a hood that looks like this. It's just beating on your plant. People want to overwater. They've got a bucket. They've got a plant. And what they do is they tell me, oh, I, dude, I give it like eight ounces every day forget about it this bucket should only be watered like once a week the longer you go between waterings the better i'm not saying you should let your plants dehydrate and die but you know that's the thing okay the last thing is let me show you a quick thing about nutrients and that is is if you've got a little cutting right and let's say this is a one gallon bucket if you put that same cutting in a five gallon bucket and you feed it nutrients that means that four gallons of this bucket is going to have nutrients left over that the plant can't use right the next time you water the next time you get like a jug and you end up watering this thing and you pour some water in it these nutrients are just going to get redistributed it's quickly easy to end up with a situation where you have way too many nutrients nutrients aren't the thing co2 is the thing and once you've turned on a light once you've turned on any size light, a 400, a 600, a 1,000, there is always room for CO2. CO2 is going to get you 25% more. <clears throat> if you give it more, if you give your plant more water, you're just going to overwater and kill your plant. Now, if it's true, if you double the light, you'll double your yield, but then you've got to double the size and the plant quantity that you have too. So what I try to show you is once you turn on a light, for no extra heat, you can run CO2. This is a boost bucket. This is a green pad. And this is an exhale. Both good products. If you've got a 600 watt or two 600s or a 1000 watt, you're going to need a little more CO2. You're going to need two exhales or you're going to step up to the bigger boost bucket. You've got questions. My no more grow more fat cards have answers. Everything you need to know to grow. Guaranteed. Pick up a set at your local hydroponic store or from my website, thegrowboss.com. Bucket. If you've got a thousand watts, you're going to use a couple of green pads or a boost bucket. Once you get to two to four thousand watts, you're going to start considering a tank. Otherwise, you're going to put up green pads everywhere and a couple of boost buckets. And anything more than four thousand watts, you're going to end up with a burner because nobody wants to refill that many tanks at my store. <clears throat> Alright, a couple of things. One is if you've got a fan filter on the floor and you're exhausting out the ceiling, if you've got a light that you've got in your garden, big plant underneath it, just put the green pad CO2 on this side. The CO2 will cross the plant 
and she will absorb it before it gets to your fan filter and leaves the room. Because what you don't want to happen is you don't want a bunch of CO2 molecules collecting in the attic, right? Because then you're just wasting your CO2. And you'll notice if you grow a plant, hang on, if you, <clears throat> okay, because if you grow a plant and you end up with putting like a CO2, CO2 pad over here, like a green pad over here, and you've got a fan filter that's exhausting out of the room, then this plant will like literally get bigger like a Christmas tree. It'll look like this. The stick will be here. This side will be bigger. You'll be able to tell the side that the green pad was on, that the boost bucket was on, any of those things when you do your garden. Every grower has the same questions you have. Every grower has the same problems you have. That's why I wrote the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. It's everything you need to know to grow. Trust me, you got a question about lighting? Let's talk about that. Check that out, how far away the plant should be from the light. You have a question about topping and super cropping? That's fine too. Let's talk about topping and super cropping. Look at that. I'm the Grow Boss, everything you need to know to grow, guaranteed. Watch my videos, buy my books, always shop local. That's a, oh, let's see. I wanted to show you one more thing with CO2, and if we put a tank right here, <clears throat> and we got a couple of, you know, we're growing a couple trees. Let's talk PPM based on light, because you can buy a super fun monitor that hooks up to the CO2 and it turns the reg on and off. But there is another way that you can do this too and you can do it with just a $15 timer and that is, you know, you've got your lights on and now you've got this reg so all you're gonna do is just go get one of those $15 tab timers and you'll just do 15 on, 15 off while the light's on and then you'll set the CO2 to one half PSI for the first week per thousand watt. So if you had 2000 watts, you would set the, regu the regulator to one PSI for a week. Then you would set it up to two PSI and you're probably gonna end up between one and 1 1.5 PSI per thousand watt 15 on, 15 off. <clears throat> That'll give you about what you want. When you walk into the room, it'll seem like a jungle. It'll seem hot. It'll seem sticky. It'll seem humid. But at 1500, pp 1500 ppm of CO2, your plants are going to be growing like you have never seen. But there's a condition. If you've got sick plants, they'll get sick even faster. Why? Because CO2 speeds everything up. If you've got a sick plant, turn the CO2 off. CO2 off, open up a window, you know what I mean, raise the light, slow the grow, you, you, the last thing you want to do, right, is like run a race while you're sick in bed with pneumonia, and so I'm the grow boss, this was Garden Science, we did CO2, watch my videos, buy my books, always shop local. All growers have the same questions, all growers have the same problems, I'm the grow boss, and I'm going to show you everything you need to know to grow, guaranteed watch my videos, buy my books, always shop local.